I'm Bruce Ravy. I'm an equipment branch director on an IMT for the BC Wild Fire Service. Heavy equipment is essentially used in the logging, mining industries, farming industries, etc. When we do firefighting, we recruit it and bring it in. It's a pretty integral piece in the fire world. The intent with the heavy equipment is to build guard for the fire. We try to do as little damage as we can by using what's out there to start. So we try to use existing roads, rivers, seismic lines, the box to fire in. And if we can't use the roads or the existing infrastructure, well, that's where we'll get our line locators and our equipment group to try to create that box where that makes sense, where the topography allows us to put these lines in. So typically at the beginning of the season, we sign up a bunch of heavy equipment. They're all independent contractors and we create what are called strike teams. The strike teams that we put together what would include a dozer, an excavator, a feller buncher, and a skidder. A lot of times they are from the same company, from major licensees, smaller companies, First Nation groups. They've worked together. They really speed the process up. These are the people that know the area. They've lived there all their life. They work with all our BCWS staff. And with that group of people, with that knowledge, really is an integral part of the team. Yeah, we can run equipment at night, and we often do, especially in the initial phases. So when they're on standby, depending on the situation, they might end up going directly into night ops that night. So we'll have a day shift and a night shift, and that really helps us get ahead of the fire and get that line completed in time. The fire activity is a lot lower. If we need to, we can get a little closer to the fire edge. They have bright lights that is almost daytime when they're operating. We have nighttime supervision. We usually have a fire crew with them to monitor fire activity. So it's sort of a symbiotic relationship with the crews. We can get out there, guard either directly along the fire line and then clean it up in between with some drip torches or we can get a little bit further away and build a guard to do planned ignitions. The heavy equipment is a huge part of managing the fire on the landscape. They're a huge part of the team. We all work together and without them, it, it would not be the same. This is how we fight fires.